Hello everyone, my name is Pixorus, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a typewriter. That's right, a typewriter. 100% survival, vanilla Minecraft, beautiful aesthetic detail, really, really easy to build. So for this design you're going to need one building block that's going to be the material you're using for your desk, three sets of stairs, I'm using nether brick but you could use any type of stair you want as long as you think it looks good, a hopper, an armor stand, a chain helmet, a piston, a button, two item frames and a white banner plus some ingredients to decorate the white banner which we'll get to in a minute. You want to start by digging a hole where you want your typewriter to go, place a hopper in there and then place an armor stand facing this way and this is going to be a little bit tricky because you need the armor stands to be facing the correct way. Now armor stands usually spawn in a couple of different positions so the helmet might be tilted to one direction or the other in which case I recommend giving it a couple of tries just to make sure that your armor stand is completely facing forward. This one looks a little bit better it seems slightly more aligned so we're going to go with that. Above that a couple of blocks up you want to place a piston so you can put your spruce plank in there you might want to put something next to it to make sure you can activate the piston as well. Push that down on top of the armor stand and add the nether brick stairs on top of that. Push those down and you'll see you have a typewriter keyboard right there already. The squares of the chain helmet are meant to look like typewriter keys and I think that looks pretty good. You can get rid of the piston and the button now, you'll no longer be needing those. Add the item frames to either side, pop in your nether brick stairs and rotate them a little bit. This is mainly supposed to look like the typewriter has some extra bits on the side sort of sticking out either side of here. Now the last thing you're going to add is the paper coming out of the top of the typewriter and if you want to just add a blank white banner there so it looks like blank white paper that's totally fine just add it to the top of your block above the typewriter and that should look fantastic but if you want to go the extra mile with your details pop down a crafting table and get yourself a white banner, a brick block, some vines and 13 bone meal. What you're going to do is pop the bricks just over the top of there so you get a black field mason pattern then add in the vines and a single bone meal to surround it with the vines like so. Next thing you want to do is add two on either side like that to get stripes down the middle of it and then surround the entire thing with a white border and your pattern is complete. It looks like this when you put it down and all you need to do is pop that on the block over the top of there to make it look like the typewriter has put text on the page. I've now added a couple of details to this, including the two paintings on opposite walls, a clock in an item frame up there, the pumpkin desk lamp from my hidden pumpkin lamp tutorial, which I will link on screen right now, a bookshelf for a bit of added interest, and a chest underneath the stair block for concealed storage. And you'll notice the stair block even lets you access the item hopper that's underneath there holding the armor stand. Now the last thing you're going to want is somewhere to sit, and for this you'll need a stone slab, two building blocks, two minecart rails, a regular minecart, two trap doors, a door of your choice, and an item frame just for detail. You want to start by placing the slab there and place the two building blocks in front with the rails on top of that. Normally you'll need two rails just to make sure the rails are going in the correct direction, but it also helps you slide the minecart in nice and easily. Once you've got it there, you just need to push it forward, tap it a little bit just to make sure it's in, add the two trap doors to either side of the slab, like so, and then back up here, add the door to the back, like that, and the minecart won't roll anywhere now. It should just be sat in there nicely. Even if you move it a little bit, it shouldn't move at all. Now just add the item frame to the back of there and add whatever you want into the item frame for a little bit of extra cushion detail, and there you go. You can sit at your typewriter at your desk. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, my name has been Pixelriffs, please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and if you feel like going that extra mile visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash pixelriffs and consider donating. Thanks guys, I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Let's go for this short one first, probably wise, there we go, one up the top there as well, yes, taking down pillars left and right.